the fuck, dude? They're just reading off the whole fucking thing right now? There's just no volume, or... My volume muted. No, it's just that quiet. There's no volume. Okay. Or no sound. All of a sudden, lots of sound. Jesus Christ. What the fuck, dude? Let's have a fucking, like, muted fucking front screen and then crank it up to a thousand after that. I'll set my shit louder than usual. Like the intro. <laughs> Just chill for a few. I missed the opening scroll too, man, so. I don't know how important that is. Fix. 
because it's in the corner and there's nowhere for me. To, I'd have to like stand on top of it and drag it and it's really annoying. Just since the wall's that way, it like kind of naturally starts coming off the bed when I get out. So it starts getting too too far out here. Need my mattress on the fucking camera. Really just throw your head in the ship. <laughs> you get this like 10 minute intro. This random nomad finding a ruin and then carrying on some dude's fucking <laughs> his wish or whatever on some psycho dragon and then I guess we're trying to make sure this other dragon doesn't get to a tower. The opening scroll has some info, but I don't really care too much. Original soundtrack that's on by default. Fun with me, I'd rather have the original. I respect that it defaults to classic. Usually your uh, remakes and stuff are gonna go for the modern stuff as the default. I'm fine with classic. This fucking volume slider. If you go one pixel off, it just resets it to zero. And I always have it like minus 15 decibels. This game's especially loud. Sometimes I'll, 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 I'll usually I have it like minus six, minus seven. This game's like minus 16 right now. Keeps doing this, dude. What the fuck is wrong with it? Elgato's boys. Sorry for the ear explosions, there's really nothing I could do about it. Fucking wonky ass Volgato software. Never gets old. <clears throat> Dog shit. 
still like hungry, man. All my fries fucking hitting the fucking ground, man. It sucked. I'll grab some snacks. We got a bunch of Christmas snacks. Okay, so saw the intro. Um, the only Panzer Dragoon I am I've played. This game is still way too loud for me. I like to be able to hear myself fucking think. I'll just turn you guys up. The only Panzer Dragoon game I've played is Panzer Dragoon Orta on the Xbox, um, which we played recently through Game Pass on the Xbox One. Recently, last year, I think. Um, it was pretty fun. I like the kind of like funky tribal um, visuals and music and stuff. Like a mix of technology and wacky shit. It's all very ambiguous what the hell's going on, it feels like. I think it's mostly just front loaded and about the aesthetics, but. So here we are, trying out the remake of the original. It's supposed to be a very short game. Yeah, normal. Played plenty of games like this, and there's plenty of games that copy the Panzer Dragon system in their game, so. Not an alien, uh. Alien John right of me or anything. <clears throat> Is this just the intro again? Okay, I'm not gonna watch the intro again. <laughs> I mean, it was cool, but it was like seven minutes long. Seven or eight minutes long, and I'm pretty sure the game runs like an hour. No, <laughs> I don't need like a third of the game's runtime to be uh, that first cutscene. I don't know if there's multiple endings, multiple paths. If it seems extremely replayable, maybe we'll do it twice. For all intents and purposes, I just plan on doing a single run. Like with Orta. That one seemed pretty fine at one. It was also longer than an hour. Hello world. I haven't even done anything. We're already getting trophies. I haven't sat in this seat in a while, I'm feeling disoriented. Too far up. Panzer Dragon. Oh. He's like, what are you getting? You're trying to get short, man? <laughs> I get it. I go with you. I need to move back a bit too.
Where did I put it? I sit like too close to my screen, I get like disoriented because the screen's filled too much of my vision. I don't know how I ever used like a 4K TV in this setup. I have my much smaller 1080p TV and it is still plenty big. <laughs> Coupled with, I guess, a big monitor on the side now. Since I'm using a different monitor since my last one broke. My screen is all, my, my vision is all screens, man. Some of you guys played a Panzer Dragoon game? This game got announced and shown off a few times at some events, but it kind of came out to pretty much no, I don't want to say applause, but because most of who care about Panzer Dragon is pretty old at this point, but not relevant. But uh, they didn't really advertise it much when it actually came out, right? Like, I feel like more people were seeing it years ago when they first announced the remake. I'd like to play some more of them. I liked Orda. It was a very cool, interesting aesthetic uh, I don't know, <laughs> rail shooter. I am in the way here. I don't know what's considered like a good Panzer Dragon game. You gotta imagine the first one solid. Dude, I keep doing this. Why would I ever want to reset the volume? Hey, fuck. Y'all got it. so special. Like, oh, you accidentally dragged it off to the side? Reset to zero. Man, blow my ear to I don't even know how old the first Panzer Dragoon is. I should check. I'm very unfamiliar with the history of the series. <laughs> I feel like I'm aiming right at the ball, but it's because your shots aren't very fast. I guess you could spam. One of those where it doesn't really have like a limit. Which, I don't know, man. You could say, I mean, mashing, of course, it's a scale thing, but I would prefer, like, a limit on mashing speeds. So my arm doesn't feel like it needs to be destroyed every time I fucking... want to play well. This one has homing, that seems to be the strong thing to do, but... Some things can't be hummed in on though, maybe. Are you trying to aim for a 
closer in there. After a certain thing, oh, the back end's actually taking damage. I'm guessing you just can't shoot down those balls, even though they look very shootable. Oh yeah, I'll probably do mine tomorrow, the day after. <clears throat> I'm taking a break today. I might still get on in a bit and do roulades, but I haven't dropped a single roulette since it started, so I figure I'd take one a break today. Maybe tomorrow too, we'll see, because tomorrow's the big talk. Oh, the ads? Yeah, my clear attempt, I guess people weren't they were doing alright. Sound. Turn down the sound effects so I can hear the music better. The music seems cool in this. Dude, it keeps doing this. I don't know if my mouse is having an issue or what. I've never had a... Um... Adjustment with Elgato would be so finicky. Starship Troopers line, but I haven't really seen it. So. I feel like that would just be the movie to reference. There's a crack 
shot, man. I have to just trust the radar, man. You can't even see these guys half the time before it's too late. Might be the point. Is there any uh, controls I'm missing here? Fire weapon. Zoom in, zoom out. Getting hit, but I don't really know. But like, what? I mean, obviously the giant bug, but like, I'm not really sure what else to be doing about it. I think if you're in anything other than this camera angle, you can't actually dodge. So there is a zoom in. I don't know why I'd want to be zoomed in ever. I'll be able to see shit. Double type dragon. Okay. Nice boss. <laughs> Ninja Dragon. We get an absolute shitload of trophies playing this. Finish level with HP shoot. Oh, okay, I see. <clears throat> and shadow menu. Die once, play level on god mode. Finish campaign without auto aim. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> what? Why the hell would a Panzer Dragon game quote fucking reference Leroy Jenkins? Have 100 hours in the game? <laughs> These trophies are so bullshit, dude. Just leave it on for a hundred hours, I guess, right? Very interesting stuff. I think you're having an allergy pill. <clears throat> All right. Next level. So yeah, tomorrow when I get up, we'll be doing the uh, the end of the year, the streaming review, the year in review. Probably just 
put it the stream and review. Maybe that's what I should. I think that's what I officially called it. Uh, stream and review 2021. So if you guys want to talk about, you know, the the year in the industry, if you want to talk about just any old game you played, you want to just look back, discuss the year, I'm going to be going through every game I played, um, getting out the old spreadsheet. I don't think I'm going to make a PowerPoint this year. <laughs> we could talk topics, but it's usually like obscenely long in the first place. Because I talk too much. <clears throat> so not, I will, I'm sure we will bring up things that happened this year and then the drama and all that. But if you guys want to come loaded with something, feel free. But I'm going to be there all fucking day as is, so I'm not going to make any extra stuff for it. I'll whip out the, the spreadsheet like I usually do. I'm going to go through every game, kind of just mention how it was, and then kind of let pick out which ones were the shittiest, which ones were okay which ones were maybe just special which ones were good and then filter it uh, that will be the good ones and then the great ones and figure out what games i thought personally that i played were the best in the year and then uh what games that released this year that i played that were really good or really bad um, it's fun for me helps me <laughs> remember some of these some of these games are immediately forgettable so going back and thinking on them is is fun i will hit everybody with this spiel like a million more times today i'm sure I want to play Afterburner Climax, man. If you guys never played Afterburner, it's more specifically Afterburner Climax. That's pretty, pretty fun rail shooter. You're just like a jet, and you move at like fucking mock speed, and the game is just nonstop. Cool music, just really fast ass kicking. Short game, a lot of different modes, and it's very fun to replay because you unlock a lot of crazy shit. Just move faster and faster, or all sorts of other fucking nuts stuff. Would recommend it. Came out on, uh, that remake came out on 360. Don't know what else, but I had fun with it. After just like a short something like this. Got the Sega game. You probably know the music for Afterburner. They use it in a Bayonetta. And some of the, uh, I think it's Afterburner music, but yeah. They use uh, the, the parts in Bayonetta one where you're riding on a missile doing stuff like this. It's, it's after the remixes. I need to replay Bayonetta 1. I played it a shitload when it came out, but I think since then... I've really just played Bayonetta 2 every time. Maybe for the third one, we'll do a replay of both of those. music man.
That was very like classic anime, man. Like old school anime. The horns. <clears throat> Go to type Imperial Assault Ship. doing any damage to it. Okay, you can blow these up. You have to use your normal shot though. Oh no, you can hold it on. Maybe the other guy was different or I just missed. Invincibility phase there. One hit might have messed the seventy percent up. This one's definitely more basic than Ordo, obviously, because it's the, well, it's the first one remade. But I mean, Ordo didn't really have mechanically that much more going on. You might have, I can't remember, you might have upgraded your thing over time, or you could change a few things out. Maybe not. Um, it's always shoot ratio, never mind. Presentation obviously it was like way crazier. There's a lot going on. I need to grab a Okay.
Yeah, it's cute so far, but I mean, it's not like crazy. I enjoy a nice rail shooter at the end of the day. A lot of it's going to depend on the presentation. There's not much more mechanics going on. I mean, you kind of just like lazily move around a dodge shit. It's not very tight. The homie end's cool, but it requires you just to spin around a lot more than place any shots. Say, like in a Star Fox. Uh, let's see some Panzer Dragoon 1 gameplay. Panzer Dragoon 1 came out. 1995. Whoa. On the Saturn. Here we go. Let's, uh, compare some shit. Nintendo World Report. Really care about the ten hour intro. And the FPS is probably the biggest difference here. Aesthetically, it's a completely different uh, feel. And this is kind of like a dark, cloudy midday, and this is like on the, the right, more evening or morning or something. Definitely looks better. You move around smooth. Got some of the bosses and shit. Huh, they've added like bits of levels or slowed it down. Might have some bit to lag. I'm using the original music right now, so. How about the level we just saw? A lot more angular. Or in the one we're playing, it's more like teeth. They look like rounded teeth. Interesting. Yeah, because I can't really judge this as a remake, I'm just kind of to judge it on its own, but it, I mean, it's cool still seeing it here. I didn't play the original, so... I mean, a lot more varied elevations. I do think it was a little harder to see some stuff in the desert, but... And obviously the color palette's totally different, but uh, I like the varied elevations. It fits a lot better with the desert. A lot more sun drenched. Interesting. I think my mouse is having a double click problem. Yeah. Without playing the original, which, I mean, really, I could have probably set that up and we could have done that. I mean, if the game's only an hour long, um, in the future, I probably should do that for the sake of conversation, but I'm too late now. Really care. Sometimes it's interesting just playing one of these remakes and seeing just how it is with... Naked eyes. Digging the music.
There's no like combos or point scoring or anything. I mean at the end I guess it kind of is, but nothing you see as you go. So I don't really know how scoring works other than just clearing or not taking damage. There's difficulties by default though. You have to unlock them. Yeah, I need to worry more about staying alive than getting 100%. I don't really care that much. This one's pretty, like, <laughs> not a twitch shooter, man, but. Dudes pop up instantly, blast instantly. Gone even quicker. It's a good way to mix it up. But... Gotta be ready to rumble. Could probably add some sensitivity to the the aiming. In fact, I think I'll add a little bit. These moments where I need to drag across the screen, I'm just purposely being slow. Unnecessarily being slow, I guess is a better way to put it. Photo mode. I like a nice photo mode. There you go. Get that Dutch. This one's pretty basic. Well, why not have it, right? I think it's a good idea to put photo modes in your game so that people, like, want to share photos. And then talk about your game. I mean, some people will just take photos and just... That's it, right? But usually people are going to take a photo and want to show somebody, so... I'm supposed to take it with like uh, this thing. <laughs> this janky takes too long. Um, fucking piece of shit. PSN screenshot mechanic. It's interesting, uh, for being a full remake, those opening cutscenes, unless those aren't changed at all, had some pretty stiff animations sometimes. I mean, it was cool. It was cool as a cutscene just because of the music and just the action, but... Yeah, I do wish the dragon controlled a bit tighter. You really have to just, like, yank it around. It's like it's on, like, a fishing line or something. Let's see blow that up. Oh. It's a boss. I took a lot of damage so far.
turn. Yeah. Jesus. Many more bosses like that. Over the years, I've always just practiced uh, mashing with my index finger. The problem is that I can't mash super hard for super long. I can go really fucking fast. That wears me out. Probably breaks or something. Yeah, it's not good for my wrist. Need to practice more thumb mashing. I mean, I can do okay with thumb mashing if I'm focusing, but it doesn't even compare to index finger. Yeah, maybe they just wanted to keep some of these animations feeling more classic. Which I respect. But I think that's one of the things that you would smooth out because it doesn't really hurt the feel of the gameplay. Like in the cutscenes and stuff. I feel like changing all the color palette and aesthetics is probably a bigger deal. Or a more drastic change. I, I don't think they're bad changes. Because those uh, original ones look very basic. <clears throat> It's one thing, you know, doing like Forest Temple to Forest Temple in the 3D one, which is a totally different aesthetic when the old one was good already, right? That kind of thing. Like, that's pretty bad. But like, changing something from being just a flat plane with pretty dull colors. I mean, I guess dull colors is fine if that's what they want. But adding some like terrain. Some elevation variety and stuff is probably good. It's probably something they would want to do. As long as it doesn't change the what it is at its core, I guess. Like that's how uh, Forest Temple felt for me in Ocarina of Time 3D. It's like it really didn't feel like it was too clean, and right? it didn't feel like a like a temple you found just out in the forest that like, hadn't been touched in forever. Like it changed it at its core. I, in this, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I wish I had already played the first one. I gotta talk to people about how important maybe they thought uh, the original art style and vibe would be. Like, Orta has a very unique aesthetic. This one has a unique world, but I don't know if the aesthetics in the original really are so well thought out that I'd call them. Getting hit by like fucking everything, dude. Like, what the fuck? There's clearly just one of these enemies that's like way dead there. Or just all from the front here is the problem. Yeah, I got just lit up harder than I've gotten lit up in the entire game. It might be that that was just like a DPS race against the guy on the side before more guys start spawning in front of me. Are you supposed to ignore him? It's rapid fire, guys. Yeah, you're definitely supposed to just mash on these dudes. These guys are tanky, man. I'm probably gonna die in this mission.
Not much health left. We'll see how high this guy is. The Imperials. I like the intro. Zoom out, please. <laughs> Jesus. I'd manually zoom out there. Maybe we're supposed to have not kill it yet, so it's going through the motions. You can get way more DPS because there's uncapped mashing speeds. Same with Star Fox. Like, it's fine, but like, that adds quite a physical layer <laughs> to getting good at one of these. Especially when wrist pain is a thing. I wouldn't want to be like trying to fucking mash all day on one of these. Uh, lots of breaks. Jesus. Just open it up. You can't even turn the fucking cursor that quick. You just have to know. Didn't start with full health either, I guess, because the last time. Health does carry over. So here's a problem. The visuals here really let the enemies blend in. And there's so much like I guess detail and they're all of like such a similar color that sometimes the enemies like I really have to use the minimap a lot. I imagine the original does not have that problem. At least when we were comparing some gameplay. The desert was like pretty contrasted with the enemies. 
I think it's one of the problems with a remake. I remember a uh, medieval remake having that issue. Pathways where you're supposed to go had detail added to them, and then the the routes you're supposed to take, like maybe a dirt path or something, didn't look like a dirt path anymore. At least we got the trophy, man. So there'd be times you couldn't actually find where you're supposed to go as easily as in the old game. I guess that's one of those, like, bad remake things. Not, not that this is, like, a bad remake, but it's one of the things you probably got to watch out for. Less readability. Can fuck with the game design. Especially in a game like this where you're supposed to be reacting like really quick to shit and shooting it down. This stuff just blends in more. Three, five, or six? Uh, it's six. Yeah. Not the little fucking janky for sure. I don't know why this isn't like by default. But... I don't know if you can kill this guy early. I assume he's just gonna be like fucking everywhere. Start laying into me. Other levels are piss easy. It's kind of funky that this one's just like a lot of you just jumping in front of you, spawning. A little bit more of that, you kind of have to memorize what's coming to you. That's fine. I think we're near the end. Or it's because of readability and I just can't tell when the fuck they're coming. I'm like, my eyes are glued on the mini map on the top right. Sometimes it's not as helpful as it seems. Because they'll be coming in to get in front of you, so it'll look like they're on the side, but they're not on the side. <laughs> they won't be visible until they're in front of you. I gotta be careful about that. So I'm gonna go above something or fucking underneath it. Man. boss on that one, but I guess we had a bunch of mini bosses walking around with us.
Dragon versus Dragon. What if our guy dropped his gun? That would sure suck. Kid's not even harnessed to him or nothing. Please look forward to it. Last episode. Soak. I think the game has uh, FPS drops too. I mean, obviously it's got better FPS than, oh shit, the Super Dragon, than the original, but... Fluctuates between what seems like 60 and then like fucking 20 or 30 then. Some of these cutscenes. In gameplay it's less of a problem, but... Shoot the popcorn, man. Why does it start to be so fucking zoomed in, man? You can't auto aim on those. It keeps resetting it to be like hyper zoom. Man, I can't even see these. Jesus. This asshole, anyways. <laughs> These are some very fast bosses, man, sometimes. Yeah, I feel like those animations could have been a little bit better. I don't know if those are supposed to be super. Like, faithful to the originals, but I couldn't tell if he's just giving me a look and then taking a dip, or if he just died there. Okay, and that's the end of it. I mean, it is a Genesis game, or whatever the fuck, Saturday, Sega Saturn game, excuse me. That's remaking, so... I just feel like there's some, some moments there they could have definitely have flushed out. But I think it's mostly just a visual overhaul. Not animations, or... Anything else? Which is funny because I think uh, the visuals affect the gameplay a lot more than they'd probably think. Like I said, there's definitely some times where enemies get lost in the mix. Doesn't matter, the game is still super easy and normal, but on a harder difficulty, I could see it getting annoying. But it was fun enough. I definitely like Orda better, obviously, but Orda's the. Like the fucking fifth one or some shit, I don't even know. Do we 
you just get fucked, man. My dude's just gonna be lost at sea. I'd also say for remake, it doesn't look super good. It looks like they took a Saturn game and turned it up to like PS2 or like early PS3. Definitely an upgrade in a lot of ways, but I don't know what the asking price was for it. For an hour long game. Oh, it was fun. I, I like rail shooters, so I enjoyed it. I mean, it's really hard to say how crazy it is when it's an hour long, right? No routes, no variety, no mechanics outside of just auto aim or spam with no limit. Um, definitely not the best in the genre, I would say. Yeah, probably not age well, but it's still just fun shooting shit and seeing, uh, the different areas and some of the cool music and stuff. It's a lot more about the presentation, I guess. Stuff like Orta has a bit more mechanically and a lot more presentation. Obviously stuff like Star Fox that came out around this time has a lot more going on. Presentation, mechanically, just all around, so. It was a fun little thing. In terms of how good of a remake it is, um, I didn't play the original, so I couldn't tell you on that front. But I would say that it's not amazing looking. God, dude, what keeps happening with my fucking mouse? I apologize. Every time I click this shitty fucking Elgato thing, it fully resets the sound to zero. I think it's more Elgato, not my mouse, but... Because it shouldn't reset to zero every time unless it's Elgato. It should just be at a random volume level. But yeah, I would say... I mean, if you don't think of it as a remake, it's visually not super impressive. It'd be an alright, like, 3D indie one. You know, a budget visual one. So I don't think it's bad on that front, but... There's definitely some, uh... Obfuscation, is that the word I'm looking for? When it comes to some of the enemies getting lost in some of the environments. A lot more like bloom. Enemies are not contrasted against some of the environments, but they're coming in real quick and flying away real fast. To get pure 100% you would definitely have to do some memorizing of course. You would always have to do that in these, but... I don't know if you'd have to do as much in the original. Variable frame rates, but mostly just the cutscenes. Credits. That are... Concept art scroll, I guess that's fine. Not wrong with that. Yeah, it was a cool little thing. For being announced so long ago, and I don't say hyped up, but hyped up, <laughs> sorta, to be at multiple big press conferences. I feel like it could have been a little bit more. I don't know if the multiple difficulty levels were a thing in the original. If not, then hats off to them there to add a little bit more replay value. Let me see, actually. Nice fucking art, dude. Kids born, dude. 
Panzer Dragoon is a difficult game for such a linear experience to team worry that people would have little incentive to play it once they beat it. So they made it the game difficult as a way to extend its duration. Maybe they nerfed this version? I'm not saying I'm a gaming god, but it was not super hard. I mean, I was getting like 90 to 100% clears on every fucking stage, and we died once. Ordo was harder than this. Uh, maybe that's just a weird thing. Maybe that, because I'm curious if it's nerfed it. Looks like there is a hard version on one of them. Your skill deserves a reward. Secret mode. Input secret command. The Konami code. Close. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, select, start. This is BB. Okay. Expect next game of MPS team. Cool. Well, I'll be waiting. MTL. <laughs> Expect next game. A classic. I know this. Where do I put it in at? Pandora's box. Speed up. God mode, easy boss mode, disable rider, rapid fire. Uh, well, this is a nice option. I imagine it's only in the remake. Just to change pretty much every parameter. Not every parameter, but some stuff. I don't think I would want to replay with any of these. But it's cool. It's all here. Changing those settings is highly unrecommended. Changing these settings? <laughs> it's got a very... For how little text there is, the translations are kind of off. But adds some flavor, man. Okay, um, I think that's it for me on Panzer Dragoon. Let's check the achievements for fun. If there's like one thing I can just grab real quick, we'll do it. So simple. I think we got all of the shoot stuff. Level 7 on hard. Play level on god mode. Either like beat it or just play it. Hey, Frizz. Thank you, man. You son of a bitch. Oh, well, there it is. Awesome. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> I think that's enough fantasy jack game. It was fun. Uh, I would like to play the rest of the games in the series. Like I said, I've only played this in Orda. Um, there's definitely something about like Orda and stuff that is just a very unique 
aesthetic and tunes that are cool enough that it's worth seeing the rest of them. But uh, this one was neat. How much were they asking for this? Let me see. I rented it out. Twenty five bucks. It's been on sale this year for six bucks. Six bucks is that's fair. Twenty five bucks. That's a little much. That's a little much. I think like ten bucks is probably what this is worth. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm super cheap, so half of a full price game almost for what's one hour. And that's us stopping a lot and watching like a video. Even with like a few difficulties and different ways to play it, I can't imagine you get more than two, three hours out of it. I mean, all the achievements, you get a hundred hours out of it, right? Because <laughs> you have to play the game for a hundred hours. Um, but that's some stupid fucking achievement. I don't consider that when it comes to how long something is, really. Alright, so